Now for years, scientists from around the globe have been trying to cut down on carbon emissions, which is one of the biggest contributors to greenhouse gases and climate change. And now, in order to find new solutions, the scientists are turning to the sea. As governments try to avoid damaging ecosystems around the world and aim to stop producing greenhouse gases, one major barrier stands in the way is our reliance on fossil fuels. And with emission rates rising, scientists are now looking at newer ways to mitigate the amount of emissions we produce. A major path-breaking way is carbon storage. So all of the IPCC reports, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports, identify carbon capture and storage as an important mitigating strategy. It's not a solution to climate change. It's purely, effectively, the way I view it. My personal point of view is it's a stopgap technology. It gives us the opportunity to mitigate some of the increase in CO2 that we are now before we move to a true net zero world where we're not producing CO2. And so few scientists from the UK's National Oceanography Centre are steering their research towards the Central North Sea, where they are testing the viability of storing carbon emissions under the sea. About 100 kilometres off Scotland's coast, carbon dioxide in large cylinders are immersed and carbon dioxide is injected into the seabed. Then robots and sensors are used to detect how much of the stored carbon leaks into the sea. The initial evidence or the existing evidence I'm aware of is that provided that storage sites are well regulated and monitored, um, we would expect to keep 98% of the CO2 in those storage facilities for 10,000 years or more. According to one of these scientists working on this project, regulating underwater carbon stores are cost-effective and reliable. If carbon storage becomes successful, then carbon dioxide can be contained over a long period of time, which will in turn help us solve a lot of climate-related issues.